combine is really very really important for our athletes. It's an emotional moment, it's an impact moment, and this can change their future. Life all comes down to opportunities and how we take advantage of those opportunities, how hard we work to meet those opportunities halfway. We are getting ready for our big XFL combine here for the next few days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We got about 200 total players. We got 100 on offense, about 100 on defense. XFL combine is where they can go out here, make a name for themselves, open up some eyes, showcase what their skills are. We're gonna go grip strength. That's gonna show how many Newtons of force they, they put on that grip machine. I think we're gonna get guys that are gonna be in the thousands of Newtons of force. That's really good. The other test is gonna be jumps. We're jumping with our hands on our hips. So anything over 20 inches is gonna be equivalent to like a 38, 39, 40 inch verticals. We want these guys to jump high, but we want them to jump quickly and put a lot of force in the ground. So the best way to do that, hey, hands on hips, high as you can, as fast as you can. Here we go, boom, good landing. Then we're going over to the bench press. We're gonna be able to see what their estimated one rep max is. The cool thing about what we're doing is we're getting moderate to, to light weight and we're saying hit it three times, let's see how fast you can do it, and then we're getting an estimated one rep max. Then we're going to our field sprints, all right? So we're gonna put the catapult units on, we're looking at acceleration, and we're looking at top speed. Anything for our skill guys in that five or six number, that's really good because that tells us those guys can get going a lot faster. And we're looking at anything over 20 miles an hour. Let's rock and roll. Me and Dylan are gonna run through it. And that way, any kinks with Wi-Fi, anything like that happen, we get out in front of them right now. All right? Well, let's do it. Oh, good baseball swing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo! Too much pop. One more, one more, one more. This tech that we're using, we use this throughout the whole entire season. So each position has averages of all these metrics and top performers. So when we get these guys in, we can compare apples to apples now. Squeeze, 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 there we go. Oh, okay, that symmetry's down. Are you kidding me? Woo. That's all I care oh, about. Up, Joe. Come on, he's hot. So if I'm a scout and I'm looking at who I want as quarterback, here's a good sample size. Where's the average? Here's our top performers. Here's, here's our top players in the XFL. It's not just handing the coaches the numbers. It's giving them a cheat sheet with all that information in, the, in one page to say, boom, boom, okay, this guy compares to this. I like him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, no. Come on, give me 392. Give me 392. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Run. We gotta, we gotta ride this high. Innovation is the name of the game when you're talking about the XFL. For years and years and years, we've seen combine one way. 40 yard dash, 510 five shuttle, jumping up and touching a marker to see jump height. There's a lot of years of combine that laid the foundation for us to watch over the NFL. All we wanna do is take that and evolve from it a little bit. We're really excited to see what these guys bring to the table and see what they got. I know we're going to get some, some high numbers, so excited to see it. So we got moment of That is our right test there. right there. Above or below 18 miles an hour. Coach Woo. Irv, we're coming. We want to see that top speed. What we got, Irv? Uh, Sean, you at 19.01. Oh, okay. Dylan, you were 18.12. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So he got me on that one. He was 19 but we were both above 18. So all you people that sit above, thank you. Thanks for the belief.
You know, I think when you look ahead, obviously we had a great product this past season, but I look out ahead and know what are the mistakes we learned from, you know, how can we get better, how can we grow, how will our coaching staff grow and, and really build upon this. 2023 summer meeting, it's about to kick this off. This felt to me like the longest off season, maybe didn't feel like that to everyone else, but it's just, you know, I get to do other things, but mostly I get to do this, and this I love. And I love it with this team. And I want to say, I know you probably have heard me, I'm going to, it's going to take me a couple months to get to not saying this. I'm so proud of what we did last season. And I'm so proud of the work. I am so proud of our athletes. We had headwinds and we proved specifically that we are the dominant spring football sports. So this year, we move into being the world's greatest spring football sports. So Monday was a great meeting. It was a full day with our entire XFL team, including our coaches, including Dean Blandino. We were able to review the year, but really focus on what we're going to do for the 2024 season. So today, what we're gonna do is kind of go through the season in review and talk a little bit about some key, key statistics and, and really get into some of the rules and if we need to make some tweaks. And that includes taking some look at some of our rules and saying, do we need to make any tweaks to actually continue to advance the game, make it even safer, get more dynamic plays. There are areas where like, can we get the scoring a little higher? Can we get the gaps a little closer? Can we get more excitement and get greater opportunities for our athletes? We had a, we had a issue in the last 30 seconds of a half. I see the official, he's, he's stopping the clock. But someone in the booth or what, I mean, you, you said, no, it's running. And I, I didn't call a timeout because I saw him going timeout. Point being, something, maybe you stay out of it in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> what, you know, when, when time's an issue is all I'm getting at. Rather than reversing, I didn't know it was reversed. Yeah, and so that, that's reversing. on us in terms of communication with you because they got to tell you, coach, it's going to start on the ready. Yeah. So if you want the timeout, you got to take the timeout. Absolutely. Last year at this time, everything was new. We didn't have any history. It was a different environment. Now, for for our head coaches who have had a year under their belts, they're they're bringing, for lack of a better term, baggage with them. Right? This play, that play, and and that's good because that means that we're we're creating a a, a little bit of history and we're, as we build this league. And so this is such an important part of what we do because we're all on the same team. And there were times, and I guarantee you, you all went through it. There were times where you're like, it's the first quarter. Should I challenge it? Because I'm done, right? Because I'm done. To be here a year ago with eight head coaches hired, no staff, no teams, and to be here tonight and, and just seeing the excitement um, and what's coming for 2024, it's incredible. Uh, it, it's, it was hard to imagine a year ago that it could have been this great. All right, appreciate you all. Again, this will continue this conversation, get feedback, and uh, let's uh, look forward to the rest of the meeting. So together, we are always looking to improve this game, right? improve it for our players, our, our coaches, our, our fans, everyone who circles this ball, this XFL ball. Let me ask you in particular, Coach Barlow, for season two, mm -hmm. what are your plans to elevate, differentiate, you know, you don't have to give us the secrets, <laughs> but maybe the philosophical ideas, right. what you want to do? So season two for us, obviously, um, we've been blessed to have some guys that get um, NFL opportunities, so we have to replace um, those guys. Uh, mm -hmm. We want to bring in even more talent to make it competitive. You mentioned the 28 million fans that watch. Mm -hmm. um, that was because of the product, and we want to continue to upgrade that product. So bringing on even better players, more athletic players would be good. And then, of course, um, you always want to develop the guys, mm -hmm. and that's in any, any type of fashion. So uh, when we talk about the stage coach, all right, the bus that took people from one place to the next. Well, for us, coach, C-O-A-C-H, is called on as Christ helpers. And ultimately, we want to be able to take these guys from where they are now, 
mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all that stuff, and uh, get them to the spot where they want to be. Beautiful. So, you know, a full 360, right? You don't, you're not looking at this as just, you know, here are the plays and this is what we're going to, obviously we're going to put something on the field, but we're going to put something into life. We're going to do right. more with our athletes. Right. That's fantastic. You know, I always share, and, and the coaches have heard me say this, and I've said it to our athletes at the XFL, our job is to take and create moments for greatness but to not make that their greatest moments in life, right? To set them up so greatness and their great moments continue and they get to experience something new every year, um, uh, every day uh, going forward, that their time with us has set them up in that way. Spin your fingers out here, right? You might do a hand split. I'm nine and a quarter, right? Let's see what you are. interest in our league, the desire to play in our league is second to none. And when you have that, you're going to have greater talent. One of the things that we instituted with the Combine is the interpersonal interaction, the interviews between coaching staff and the prospective players. And that goes a long way because they want to make sure they get to know that person. You can scout a guy and see what he puts out there on tape, but what, what, what's his makeup? What is he going to bring to the locker room, to our team? We're in a good spot. And the other part that is even better is with the success of the first year of this league. Now the guys that were questioning it before, they now they're going to jump in, right? Like we're not going to have, I think when we get to that, that October 4th draft and we get to the South Middle draft, you're going to have some guys that have NFL experience or have football experience that are going to be chomping at the bit to get into this, to keep extending their careers and to say, hey man, you know, I could go play in that league and I can go to do that performance and then you know, bounce, right back, yeah, bounce yeah. back into the NFL. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm going to do that. One thing I'm looking forward to with this combine is being able to show my talents and show that I can play at the highest level. We got toe walks, big upper body action, all right, big movement. Playing football professionally has always been a dream of mine. Um, I think the XFL has shown that they've done, you know, good work in terms of getting guys that exposure they need to go and play even at the next level. Once upon a time, the NFL was the only option for a lot of guys like us, and now the XFL provides a dream opportunity for us to reach that level, and it's an opportunity for us to continue playing the game that we played since we were kids at a high level. So this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I want to make the most of it. All right, here we go, fellas. You're going up through the tunnel, you're going to your right. We're going to be in four groups. Keep that small step, good, good. Keep that tension in, keep that tension in. Keep your reps. Once you get five reps, run the reps. Group one. You're on. We'll, we'll have the coach there. We'll go grip. Okay, you'll see it in here. All right. So just get to your group number here. Grab a car, hydrate, and we're in the weight room. Let's get. Let's go. on, vest on, units, here we go. Everybody below 18 seconds come up to your spot. Man, stop playing. Hey, Victoria, oh I didn't see you out here running. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt you. Yeah, right. So we're about to do our acceleration test and our um, our max velocity test. Uh, so it's going to be a quick acceleration. What we want to see is how fast these guys can go from zero to full speed. Yeah, coming back over that hip. The part I love is I love guys competing. Like, get out here and show me your heart, show me you know, where you are, because none of these guys have the easy road. Some of these guys are living on dollar to dollar, chasing a dream that might never happen to them, but they're still doing it. Bill, when you hit a hiss, you're going 100 miles an hour. Mad props, and a lot of these guys we've seen from years past, and they're just like, man, I love football. I got to get out here. I got to compete and do whatever I can to catch your eye. 
and maybe I didn't catch it last time, but I want to do what I can to catch it this time. So I, I love that. I love the XFL. It really, it truly is a league of opportunity because you don't have to really know anyone. Anyone can come. Anyone can go to a showcase, but are you good enough to go to the next level? Pretty, pretty good stand-up. Nice job. Haven't played football in two years? As a kid, you always dream about it, you know, and only a few a few guys get to live it. So just to be out here this week, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a dream come true and looking forward to extend it in more after this week. I mean, you walk in, you think about it, and in the NFL, you've got, you know, a seven-round draft, and you're, you, you know, you, you kind of got a pretty good idea of who's going to get yeah. drafted where. Yep. We walked into, into Las Vegas for a draft and walked out with 50 players. Yep. We had zero yep. when we walked in, yep. and two yep. days yep. later we had 50 Five plus. Yep. Yep. And I remember your voice on the phone when we had Zoom calls and stuff saying, hey, can we break this down? Give me some, <laughs> right. give me I, some help I here. I was trying to make it as easy as possible to myself. <laughs> yeah. To my coaches and all, I was, I was feeling all confident, talking all confident. As soon as I would get off Zoom, or as soon as I wouldn't say, I'm like, bro, I have no clue what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, hopefully what I'm actually saying is, something that's going to happen. Hey guys, I know we're going to get these players. As soon as I cut off, I have no clue. <laughs> I hope <laughs> these are the guys, because we didn't get a chance to see them in person. Yeah, well, right. yeah. you, I mean, you don't know. Yeah. With us in the league, man, we there's millions of dollars that's dedicated to going out and scouting these players, body typing these guys, yeah. talking on the phone with them, going to the combine and seeing them in person. We had no clue. I didn't know if the guy that I drafted even had two legs. At that time, you know what I mean? We're getting live updates. Rush G going, he just signed in the CFL like right a minute ago. Like there's, There was days I was sitting there like, thank God, man, please, just let me be right. Let me be right yep. on this one. Because it was just, you, you trust that you're a good evaluator and you, and you believe in what you have been taught and what you learn. But then you know you got other guys in the same position that have been doing it. And, and they're going to be looking at those same players, and you hope that that guy, you can get to that guy, yeah. right? And I hadn't, I hadn't been in a draft room since 2007. So for me, it was extra daunting, right? I'm sitting there, man, 15 years removed, and I'm going, man, I got a draft against Randy Mueller and Rick Mueller and R Joey Klinksdale, and I mean, what, you know, Vaughn? I, I don't, I, it was, I was sitting there like, okay, man, ho I hope I'm up for this task. And so, you know, and, and, and then the other part is, I don't want to let the, King of Texas down, man. You know, I got I got Wade Phillips right here. You know, if I if I fail him, that's not gonna be great. So, but it was a uh, yeah, it was. I don't know if people ever ever really know those hours you sat there. You know, up at night, and and, and it was stupid because I'd wake up at three o'clock in the morning going. Oh, Vaughn's probably watching film right now. You know, Rick's down there. Do Rick's doing something, man. It's, if, he, if Rick's talking to that agent, I talked to him yesterday. I'm gonna be so mad. You know, it, it, it made it tough. I think one of the things that uh, that we'll be a little bit better at this year is. Um, bringing in players, selecting players that fit your scheme. Sure. You yeah. know what I mean? Because, you know, last year it was a little bit twisted, you know, and you're acquiring players and you don't really have your, your scheme. Uh, your coaches are a little bit more settled. You know exactly what you're going to run. So you're bringing guys in. They fit what you do, opposed to uh, the other way around and then getting uh, into the season a little bit. You know what I mean? That, that, that deal where you, right. we ended up wasting a lot of our skin. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a Russ Gilio thing. But, um, <laughs> we go. but you know, you spent all that time one replacing. One <laughs> you, 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 you spent all that time replacing these players because they didn't necessarily fit early on what you wanted to do. Now you're utilizing all those skill cuts that you could have better used, you know, as your season progressed. You know what I mean? So I think we'll, we'll do a much better job of handling that than we did this, uh, this past year. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me three. Seven. All right, feet together, feet together. Hanging hands. Give me one. And down. Here we go. Everybody knows. I don't know. I don't think everybody knows. What's up, Harry? How we doing, coach? Good. Good to see you. Got Got Yeah, how we feeling this morning? Good. Trying to find some new Vipers. Yeah. So we're ready to go. We're looking for anybody specific. We're looking for all of them. Sam and KJ, can you hear me? Sam and KJ? Hey, we got 20. We are 20 seconds away, guys. 20 seconds. And they're gathering people for the address, so you need to get over there. 13, as as we come on the 12, air. Okay? 11, 11, 10, 9, coming right eight, to you guys on camera. 7, seven, seven 6, six five, 5, 4. Open three, their mics. 2, two mics open. 1. Go, Sam. 
Welcome to the XFL Combine. We have over 200 players here. <laughs> Coach, how we doing this morning? Sometimes that don't go football. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to in this Combine? Honestly, I'm ready to look. I'm looking for some 4240s. Okay. I'm looking for some guys to come out straight out blazing. I'm looking for some agility. Guys to come out with that swaggy sauce. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a fun one, man. Earlier today, we talked about the fact that one of our jobs is to set a platform for greatness, right? We have got to bring everything we can. We've got incredible executives around you. We've got the coaches around you. We've got their staff. This is the moment. Don't think about anything else except that your time is here. We are all about opportunity, but we just need our partners to grab that opportunity. And you guys can. Say, go. <laughs> gotta stay with them, gotta stay with them. Keep your hips down. No waste bending. Move your feet, move your feet, move your feet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, stop. Next two up. He's a lot, a little bit young, but, you know. We all gotta learn. I know, yeah. There's a lot of elements about the game that you can try and control. There's a lot of elements about the game that you can't control. And then there's special elements about the game that mean everything. And that's opportunity. One of the best parts about coming out to our combine, an event like this, is all of these players that I have met, that I continue to meet. Handshake is strong, but there's just so much gratitude in that handshake, man, and you could feel it. And the first thing out of their mouth is, thank you so much for the opportunity. First thing out of their mouth. I have goosebumps right now. Thank you for the opportunity. And then we start talking shit <laughs> and having fun. But for a lot of these players, they were told, hey, you're really good, but maybe this is where the dream ends. No, nope. doesn't, not now, not with us. The quality of the athlete that we have this year as opposed to last year, all around is great. But now since we're not starting from scratch, now we're talking about true competition. As I tell our guys that we have coming back, hey man, my job is to try to replace you. So don't get complacent because there's these guys out here that are trying to take it. Because ultimately at the end of the day, we all want to win the championship. So we're always looking for that edge or how you can improve your team. This is an incredible game and we play in a serious way. And those athletes are reflecting that. So they, they came, they came to ball. There is no messing around. You know what, it's all good. Hey, you we don't run a bat this shit. Championship comes to all. Oh, let me break this thing up. Let me break this thing up. Great kid, great down Yeah, we love it. How you guys doing? He's a, he's a... Doing good. Well, I just want to say, hey, thank you for coming out. We take a lot of pride in creating what I feel is the League of Opportunity. And as you guys know, that's what life is all about. About And you guys have been in big situations before, small situations before. But this kind of opportunity here, this is the kind of opportunity, as you guys know, because you've been working your asses off, where it's a kind of opportunity that you have to grab by the fucking throat and not let go because this is the one that's gonna propel you to that next level. I know it's hot as fuck out here. I really, it's hot, I know, man. But you wouldn't want it any other way, right? You want it hard, right? Because cause that, that, that's the thing that just creates this character. So let's get a break in here, boys, and I really appreciate you, all right? Here we go. XFL on three, on three. One, two, three, XFL! XFL! Thank you, boys. I got five reps, elbows in, bam, bam, bam. Here we go, five reps. Once you're done, run the get those. Once you're done, run the get those. Here we go, Johnny. He's talking that shit. I don't care if you can cover people. I didn't want to, I want to do it all, I do it all, baby. What you need me to do? You gotta jump high today. We here. We here. I got that. What you else you need? Push the bench I got that. What else you need? <laughs> you got a great heart you today. Come on, you gotta give me something else. What else you need? Who knew I would make it this far? They hated. They never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather.
with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say, I got him picking up the pieces. Got me, you really playing with your life, I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new era, about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it, cause you all cap like Hold up, I shoot my shot, wait, hold up. I'm really about to run this cover. You know it's all net when it go up. I love what the XFL does with testing. It's different than the NFL. We really focus on not how many reps they can move the bar, but how fast they can move the bar. There's a lot of outdated testing, and we have the opportunity to change that. We need to help our coaches, you know, one piece at a time, put together, like, to find, like, what's the next XFL athlete look like. We know a guy that can run 22 miles an hour is fast, but can he catch the ball? Can he get in and out of a break as a receiver, right? It's those measurements that you can get with these tools that translate to these, these real life in-game things that get to a, a better level of a decision making process. Hey, you here? ODU. Uh, I got mad what I did for. I probably ain't want to go to Virginia State. Then we got this. I hold over here. Right. We tried to play as Kappa. Try to play as Capitals, but the Capitals didn't want him. And he can't say nothing mean to me because he want to get drafted. He <laughs> won't get drafted by the Nukes if you say something. So I'm gonna just give it to you all day. <laughs> Welcome back to the final day of the XFL Combine. We got me, Sam Macho, ESPN. We got. KJ Sales, yep. but more importantly, we got defense, baby. It's Chair, DVD, baby. Bring it all. Grab that opportunity. Grab that greatness. Stay present and just give it to us. XFL. Let's do it. I've seen a lot of good-looking athletes, man. You get through the ball. They don't move much else. Right, right in front of the football. What football is in people's lives, what it can represent, how hard it is to get here, it is an emotional time. And I'm so grateful. They feel our love. They feel our support. They feel our connection and sincerity. And that makes a place to be real and to know that this is important. Being here is a blessing because uh, just an opportunity just to get my foot in the door is all I ever asked for. And you know, and now that it's presented with to me, like I feel like it's my obligation to take it seriously and make sure that uh, I'm impacting people around me and showing these coaches, uh, you know, my value to a team. Oh my God. But it's kind of cool, you know, just kind of chill out and settle down. You know, the, the work has been put in. You know what I mean? Kind of reflect on it and stuff like that. But it's nice, cool to kind of exhale. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then take it in, and then when you leave here, you take the experience with you on what can you work on to get better. Definitely. You know? That wasn't for the camera, by the way. I was just talking. <laughs> <laughs> we are wrapping up our first XFL Combine. The performance on the field has been as hot as the temperatures that we are dealing with. It's triple digits, and these players didn't bat an eye. They came out and performed well. We're excited to see what they can bring to our league, and we're excited to be starting year two come January. I would say to any of our athletes, whether they're here today at the Combine or maybe not with us just yet, is to hold the dream and keep it. To look at where you want to go and every day make a commitment to work towards that. I think a lot of individuals don't realize that it's the daily commitment and the decision to do something daily towards what you want to achieve that makes all the difference in the world. We are always going to cast the widest net possible. We have players who were with us last year at our combines, didn't quite make it, who come back again, who did the work and now are at that place where they have a great shot of making one of our rosters. So to never stop, never stop and never stop that process.